Welcome back. For a long time, the name atop the ICC was Bellwood mm -hmm. Antis, but last year, a new leader emerged among the pack. Yeah, Mount Union snatched up the conference title and their best record in school history, and now they're looking for even more. One through ten is a tough week. You don't get a week off. Uh, but, you know, that's the fun part of it. Mount Union is coming off the best year in school history, but things have changed for the Trojans, who moved from an offense that relied on speed to one who looks to power their way through opposing defenses. But this year, we just have a lot of power, and our line's going to be good. You know, DJ, he's a great running back. Bellwood Antis was knocked from the top by the Trojans. This season, the Blue Devils are looking to rally around a young but experienced squad to reclaim the crown. It was a tough loss to take, but uh, a lot of our younger guys got some good experience coming into this new year. Tussie Mountain really turned a corner over the last two years, grabbing their best records in school history. The Titans lost a ton of guys from that winning group, but still feel confident about what they have this year. We're excited to play and the teamwork, like we're really coming together as a team too this year. Motion and Valley has the potential to be a big threat in the ICC in 2015. The Black Knights return a ton of starters and a lot of all-star players. Williamsburg is coming off their first trip to the postseason in over 20 years. The Blue Pirates are hungry to get back there. Well, it really gives us a confidence boost. I mean, and it really sets the bar high for this year. We've got a lot of goals set for this year and hopefully coming to meet them all. Glendale, Northern Bedford, Southern Huntingdon, and Everett all finished with two wins in 2014, but each thinks things will be better this time around. A lot of more team bonding, kids coming together. We're, we're looking to have a great season this year, better than last year. Juniata Valley, Claysburg Kimmel, and West Branch all had rough years, but those three think they can approve upon those records this year. We're ready to get out there, ready to start hitting people, ready to throw some bodies around, knock some heads off. And one of our strengths this year is definitely our athleticism. So um, just seeing some of the kids that are interested in playing this year, you know, makes it a lot better and gives us hope that it'll be a good year this year. This team is very positive and we work very well together. And uh, we're just, we work, we all work hard. Now over in the Mountain League, you have to talk about the big three, Central, Clearfield, and Tyrone. Jacob Kalker shows us how they're fighting for another league crown and who else is set to join the contenders. After a three-way tie at the top, the room for air in the Mountain League is again razor thin. Central's offense should be explosive. The Scarlet Knights dropped just one league game a year ago to Tyrone. Just showed that, you know, you can, there's always room for improvement. You're never always at the top. You always can improve and just strive to be better. The Golden Eagles now must replace every single skill position player. Head coach Jason Wilson hopes an experienced offensive line will give his new weapons some time to grow. But once he's got to get up to speed, I, th I think we have a really good, talented class. We just need a lot of game experience and, and get them, you know, get them rolling. The other top contender, Clearfield, returns almost all of their best players. The Bison build on a strong finish, winning eight of their last nine games. We got a pretty good offense and defensive line. We got a good quarterback and get there a big, great ball. Running back Caldwell, he can run real good and. I uh, watched they were pretty solid all around. There's some hope of unseating the big three in Huntington. Led by running back John Wagner, the Bearcats ride the momentum of making the District 6 semifinals. Hopefully that confidence, you know, we're trying to bring that confidence from last year right into game number one. These guys are enthusiastic. They want it. If you're looking for another sleeper in the league, Belfont could make a good case. The Red Raiders boosted their win total from zero to three in 2014 and think the best is yet to come. And a lot of these guys are repeats. They've been starters for two and three years. So from that standpoint, we have really good leadership and we have some depth in spots that we haven't had depth up to this point. Bald Eagle area, Penns Valley and Phillipsburg Osceola, meanwhile, all look to rebound this season. The Eagles, Rams and Mounties combined put together just four wins a year ago. We've had a lot of ups and downs last year. We worked on a lot of stuff this year. A lot more competitive, a lot more focused, and uh, just a team that's ready to come out and show, show what they got. They don't have a bar set high for us. We have the bar set as high as we can go. Thank you, Jacob. Well, still ahead, Dubois looks to follow off their best season in years with one that ends in a much deeper postseason run. And it could be very crowded at the top of the Westpac standings in 2015. We have this and plenty more when the Sports Beat Countdown to Kickoff returns.